Hi, this is Brian Pfeiffer, the owner of SurrealNightlife.com. I'm standing here today right in front of Chateau Nightclub. You can see here there's a staircase going up to Chateau, and then once you get up on top of the staircase, you walk through kind of a long hallway, and you get up uh, to some elevators, and you go up one more floor, and then you're underneath the Eiffel Tower. You can see here that the Eiffel Tower, one of the bases, so the Eiffel Tower, you can see in the background here, is, um, you know, basically the Eiffel Tower is constructed inside this um, uh, hotel called the Paris Hotel here. Okay. And uh, the Chateau is actually underneath the Eiffel Tower outside on the third level. So that's uh, Chateau. So in this video, guys, I'm going to talk to you about everything you need to know about Chateau Nightclub and um, all the things that's going on with it right now for getting in, bottle service, uh, dress code, etc. Uh, if you're watching this video, most likely you're interested in some bottle service. And I'm going to tell you the deal here in this video. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. And uh, stick with me to the end. i got some, uh, some big tips for you. All right? So here we go. So let's talk about Chateau Nightclub. We are in the Paris Hotel in the center of the Strip. It's iconic. Uh, everybody kind of knows the Eiffel Tower here at the Paris Hotel. And Chateau Nightclub has been around for quite a while. It's changed ownership several times. Uh, when I first moved out here in 2013, this was operated by AMG Group. And then that was about a year into it. Uh, they, they transferred over to the 33 group, and those are the people that I'm pretty sure operated now. Um, this year has been kind of a, you know an odd year. Obviously, we had the, uh, the cervasis sickness, and we're still kind of dealing with it a little bit here. I'm filming this video in uh, November of 2021, going into the uh, kind of the off season here in Vegas. Uh, but the um, the place is uh, still packed. Okay, they're doing pretty good over here, and uh, they were closed for you know about a year because of the you know the sickness. But then they reopened. But they reopened up as a lounge. Okay, so keep that in mind, guys, when you're coming to Chateau. Uh, it is operating still as a lounge. Okay, there's kind of a difference between a nightclub and a lounge in Las Vegas. Uh, let me explain the difference here. The the Nevada Gaming Commission uh, kind of has their tentacles into the nightclubs here, and you have to get uh, registered to work at a nightclub. You have to be if you're a host, you have to get registered. You have to pass an FBI background check. You have to get licensed. You have to have a Nevada gaming license. I have one um, in order to work at the nightclubs here. When you operate as a lounge, okay, you don't need to register with gaming. You don't need to have the people that work there register with gaming. Uh, you don't need to pay taxes that the gaming the, the gaming people get, uh, so there's less taxes they got to pay, and there's less like scrutiny they're under with the uh, Nevada Gaming Commission. So when they're operating as a lounge, they can still have a DJ, okay, that's technically not um, against the rules of a lounge, uh, but they can't have like a guest list, okay, they can't have like a live entertainment, and they have to sell like the tables as just bottle service only. So the only way to get into this place right now, guys, is um, via bottle service. Okay, now I have reasonably prices here. We're going to talk about that in a few minutes. I'm going to flash up some of the table options and whatnot for you as I talk about them. But the um, the big deal is here. It's kind of bottle service only to get in because it is operating as a lounge and not as a nightclub anymore. Okay, and I did talk to the guys that work here last night uh, when I had um, a group over here, and they said that they're probably going to continue this into 2022 and beyond. Okay, they said it's super profitable for them. They only have to pay like three or four people to kind of operate the place, not all these hosts and guest list promoters and all this other stuff, and they've been selling out like every single Friday and Saturday. I think they're open right now Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and I know Fridays and Saturdays have been pretty much sold out now. It is going into the slow season, and it is outside, so it gets a little colder at night here, and they do have heaters, but um, they're not quite selling out every Friday and Saturday right now, but, you know, that'll probably change once the, uh, you know, the warm season comes back in and say, you know, March and April and whatnot. All right, so expect this place to be sold out just about every weekend if you're coming here in the summer months and whatnot. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the uh, dress code here. It is, they are still, you know, keeping it upscale. You want to dress nice. Uh, you know, guys, no baggy je jeans, no uh, athletic gear, no work boots. Um, you can get away with, like, nice higher-end sneakers, but no gym st shoe-style st sneakers. I do have a complete dress code right up on uh, the website here. If you want to check, check that out, just go to the guide section, and there'll be a, uh, a section on... Uh, you know, dress code and whatnot if you have some questions. And I'm, I'm available always to ask, answer any questions, send me a picture or whatever. I can send it over to the door and they can okay if you book a table with me and whatnot. Uh, now, as far as like the guest list, again, there is no guest list, guys. So I do still have guest lists up on the sites, uh, mostly just to drive leads for tables. I just, you know, when someone wants a guest list, I tell them, listen, the only way you're getting in is the other table. Now, I do know they have some deal with some of the club crawls here, and they do allow club crawl people in. I'm not sure how they skirt around the uh, Nevada Gaming Commission thing with the club crawls, but they're able to get some filler crowd in here with the club crawls, and they are able to, uh, they do a lot of like bachelorette packages and whatnot, and uh, it kind of helps fill the room with some ladies and whatnot, so the bachelorette packages are very, very reasonable that I can put one of those as well for you guys. All right. Now let's talk about the, uh, the 
table options. I guess we can touch base on security as well. Uh, they do have security here. I'm standing here at the front, and they do check kind of like uh, make sure you don't have any weapons and whatnot. They're pretty, uh, they're pretty slim when it comes. To, you know, they don't really like dig into your pockets too bad here. But they're pretty much pretty loose, but they want to make sure there's no weapons and whatnot. So. All right, let's talk about the table options and uh, kind of go up from there. Now, generally, they sell the tables. Uh, I sell the tables for um, groups of two, four, six, and then we go up to eight and ten, depending on how big your group is. Now, they have a two-person table option. It's kind of like a four-top where they can see you at the bar, 150 bucks minimum. You can't get a bottle with that. A bottle's here start around like 350, 375, 400 range, um, but you can just buy drinks. Okay, so you can get in, uh, basically you're agreeing to spend 150 bucks on a bar tab, and you can come in with, uh, you know, two people, get a place to sit and whatnot. Uh, there's plenty of seating at the bar. They have some little four top tables around and whatnot. And they might even see you in a little like two or three seater table depending on how busy they are. All right, so that's your 150. Then there's a 300 level. Uh, basically agreeing to spend 300 bucks on booze. Gets four people in and um, you know, that's uh, that's the next option. I'll be a little bit bigger table, obviously seating four people. And then they have a, um, I think a $400 option, which is basically one bottle, you can get up to six people with that in. And then they have like a $500 option for six people, which gets you a little bit better table closer to the center. And then obviously it goes up from there. If you have a group of say like eight to 10, probably looking at anywhere from an 800 to a thousand dollar minimum I can do. And and we'll get you a better table in the center and whatnot. If you have a really big group, maybe we can put a couple tables side by side. Maybe do like a you know fifteen hundred dollar minimum or even a two K minimum if the group's humongous. And uh, figure around four hundred bucks a bottle. It's like three seventy five ish, and you can get yourself um, you know with a one K minimum a couple bottles with some Red Bulls and waters and whatnot. All right, so I sell a lot of those. The way it works, guys, with the tables here is we do. Uh, um, I have an account here, and what we do is we take the minimum of the table up front. So say it's a $500 minimum, we'll do a $500 payment, and then you pay the tip and tax when you arrive here to the waitress, um, and they just bill my account, okay? So I'll send you an invoice for the uh, you know, the minimum, and then you guys just uh, pay the tip and tax when you get here. So that's how it works over here at Chateau. Now let's talk about the tables a little bit. Um, I'll kind of flash them up here so you kind of get an idea what you're gonna get for your money. Um, you know, got the four top tables, which is gonna be along the bar and whatnot. You got a couple of smaller four tops to start throughout, and a couple like, you know, maybe two, three-seater lounge type tables in some of the islands around the place. Um, those are for like the, you know, the two people. And then if you go up to a four-person table, it's gonna be a little bit bigger. It's gonna be more like, a, you know, on one of the lounge spots on the islands and whatnot, just big enough to see four people. And then, um, you know, when you walk in on the right, there's some big booths. Um, those are for larger groups. And then there's some smaller tables for some of the groups of four people, kind of right in front of them. And then they have like these cabana-style tables along the glass. Uh, those are good for maybe like six to eight people. All right. Now, as you get into the center, uh, you're going to have some tables along the glass. Those are going to be considered more like your prime seating. Uh, generally, you're going to have to do at least a $600 minimum and up to get one of those tables. Or if you want to get something in front of the DJ, like on the dance floor, uh, generally you're probably talking $500, $600 minimum and up to get those. On busier nights, it's even going to be higher. Okay. And uh, there are several like you know islands and U booths and um, different booths spread throughout the. Uh, the venue as I'm talking about it here. I'll kind of flash them up so you get an idea. Uh, you can't really pick your table here. Um, I will have a link below to have like a 3D map. If you do see a table that you like on the map, I can request it and more than likely we can get it. Okay, so it's really not that big, big of a deal here to get the tables you want. Um, as long as you, I know ahead of time what you're looking for, where you want to be, um, I can just request it. All right. So uh, that is pretty much uh, all I have to really share with you guys about Chateau Nightclub and our Chateau Lounge, if you will. That's kind of how they're operating it right now. But uh, it is a good value. Uh, they do play mostly hip hop music here. Uh, they're not going to play too much open form or um, EDM. We call it open format. They play a little top 40, a little hip hop, a few dance songs mixed in. It's a nice vibe up there, okay? There's going to be people dancing at their tables. They, they actually filled in the dance floor in front of the DJ with tables because they can't technically have a dance floor in a lounge. So, you know, it's not kind of what it used to be with the big dance floor full of people. It's more like just a bunch of tables all around and everybody partying. So if you're a group of guys and you're coming here trying to meet girls, this probably isn't one of the best places for that. So you might actually want to get, uh, you know, maybe consider another option where there's going to be more girls, more of a guest list system. But they, um, they do have a... Uh, you know, they do have the bachelorette program and whatnot, so there are some girls and whatnot. But this is kind of a perfect place if you're looking for a good value with your, um, 
with your group and you want to do like a nice table and you kind of got a self-contained group, maybe like a couple, you know, several couples and whatnot, you get bottles here for 400 bucks, which is way less than everybody <laughs> everywhere else in Vegas. Generally, you're paying anywhere from like six to $800 per bottle at most of the other clubs. Come in here, get a bottle, get a nice table, you got some good music, um, you got a nice vibe, it's outdoor, open air, you got the Bellagio Fountains right across the street, uh, you get a nice view of that, you know, get some good Instagram pictures, if you will, or Snapchats, uh, Reels, whatever you want to call it these days. And uh, yeah, it, it's actually a pretty darn, uh, you know, pretty darn good value club here. And, and I, like I said, uh, they're doing really well. It's selling out every single weekend. So, um, you know, you got to book this in advance. You know, make sure if you're coming out here and you definitely want to do Chateau, hit me up. Uh, we'll put a deposit in and we'll lock up your table and uh, we'll get that all set up. All right. So my number's above, 773-459-8133. If you have any questions, hit me up. Uh, I am going to be doing a 3D map for the site here um, for this venue uh, later on in the winter here once I get once the team gets to it, so you kind of get a better idea of, how, of the layout of the venue, and then I'll have a menu below so you can see what that is. And generally, you know, keep keep uh, keep an eye um, on the minimums. Usually, like 150, two people, 300, four people, you know, 400 to 600 for like six people, and then up from there. Okay, and then if you've got a big group, you can just do two tables or one one bigger table, whatnot. All right. So if you have any questions, uh, again, feel free to hit me up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like it and subscribe to this channel. Uh, I'm Brian Pfeiffer, and I will talk to you guys soon. Hope to see you at Chateau. Bye.